Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 10 Car Tuesday. And today we got some more Ferraris for you. And yeah, we're going to start with this Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Um, this was a 2013 mainline debut. This one is actually a 2014 variation. Um, so here's the back of that card there. It's on an international card. We're going to go ahead and just open that up right away. Only got one variation of this car to show you. It's not the most exciting looking Ferrari, in my opinion. Um, but there it is in yellow. Basic tampos. You got headlights, Ferrari logo there, Ferrari logo on the sides, and no rear detail whatsoever. And that's pretty normal for Ferrari, as we as we're finding out in these videos. So there is that guy. Pretty sweet little yellow Ferrari, and that's it for the Berlinetta. Um, of course, it was last seen in 2014. There wasn't another one out after that. That might have had a color variation. I think it was also available in red. All right, so here is the Ferrari 599XX. This is a great casting, a great uh, uh, Ferrari casting uh, from Hot Wheels. This one actually debuted in a semi-premium release, I guess, the 2010 Speed Machines which those cars of this casting are kind of expensive ones to try to get. I think there's four variations of it. Um, this is 2012 mainline. This was also a super treasure hunt for 2012, which I don't obviously have here. And that one also goes for a lot of money. And then the uh, 2015 release, which is the last time it was seen, it was also released as a super treasure hunt. But here is the 2012 regular release. I'll go ahead and open that up. And it is a pretty sweet one. Definitely dig this casting. I think it's very cool. Uh, of course, plastic base, metal body. Uh, again, we got headlights tampoed on. Some tampos on the top, some side tampos, and then the back is naked per usual. And uh, so there is that one. It's a pretty cool little Ferrari, though. Even the basics pretty cool. The Super is really awesome. So definitely want to have one of those in my collection at some point in time. Definitely don't have it now. I don't have either of the Supers of this uh, casting. Uh, so there is that. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about the 308 GTS. Now, this one's kind of an interesting one. Uh, this was a 1996 mainline debut. It was also seen in 1997. Uh, this is actually the 1997 version. I believe this was available in a red and then a yellow. There might have been a wheel variation out there. The interesting thing about it, though, as we open it up, is that this is actually a Corgi tooling. Um, so I think Mattel acquired Corgi and used some of their toolings for the main line. And one of the weird things about it is how many rivets are in this car. Five rivets. Was that really necessary? Um, I don't know, but here is your 308 GTS, originally as seen as a Corgi casting, here it is released as Hot Wheels, um, so this one again is a 1997 mainline. Um, we'll go ahead and keep that one out, because then I also have the Hot Wheels uh, tooling of this car, which is the also labeled a 308 uh, GTS. I think when this originally came out, it actually had 308 GTS uh, Quattro Vivoli um, as part of the title of the car um, but this was a also a Ferrari racer debut so this was a Ferrari racer debut or no this was a sorry this was a speed machines debut this was a Ferrari racer debut same kind of concept though they had co molded wheels not rubber tires or anything um, but still tough to get to this day now they're they're pretty hard to get and they're expensive um, this one <clears throat> is your 2010 mainline so go ahead and open it up Essentially, it's the same car as the Corgi. There it is. Very nice tooling. Uh, this one, of course, only has two rivets. Much more detailed base. Uh, again, classic Ferrari Tampo scheme. You got the logo on the front. You got the logos on the side. Nothing on the back. So there it is in red. And then I have one more variation of it. Uh, this is the 2010 mainline. Or wait, sorry. This was the 2011, I think, actually. I screwed them up. Yeah. Anyway, this is the 2011 one. This is the 2010 one. Hot Wheels All-Stars. 
And this one's in a nice looking metallic blue. Same wheels. Uh, this casting is fantastic. I really do like it. Um, this was also seen in the Hot Ones releases and in also in the Retro Entertainment, uh, Hot Wheels Garage it came out in. So there was a, a few premium releases for this casting. And I think it looks great. Um, in comparison to the Corgi one, it's much smaller. And my guess is a bit more to scale than the Corgi one. Corgi one looks much larger. And the Corgi one looks a little bit less detailed. I think the, the Hot Wheels one looks a lot more uh, detailed. Even the seats and how they are in there and um, all of that. So, uh, fantastic casting. This is a great one. It's too bad that uh, Hot Wheels won't be putting too many more of these out, obviously, since they don't have the licensing currently. Alright, so there is those three. So, that is our one, two, three, four, and five we've gone through. we got five cars to go. Uh, next up is this one. <clears throat> this is the F50 Spider. This was a 1996 uh, mainline debut in this red color right here. This is the 96 one that you see. Uh, it was only released a couple times. It had a very short run, a very short life as a casting. Um, it only, I think it was, I think it was only like three or four variations of it, but it only ran from um, 1990, what was it, 1996 to 1998, I think. And I have the 98 one here. Here's the 98 one. We're going to open that in just a second. But here is the F50 uh, Spider in red. Uh, super basic. No tampos except for that one Hot Wheels logo right there. And that is it. Not even a Ferrari logo on that one. And then here's this one here. Not a huge fan of this casting. And um, you can tell Hot Wheels probably wasn't either. So this one says Stunt Machines Team Leader. That's the temp on the side. It's a metallic purple. Got those like saw blade wheels or whatever you call them. Not a very attractive uh, car by any means, but um, there it is. So there's your Ferrari F50 Spider. All right, so then sticking with the F50, which is definitely, in my opinion, not as attractive a car as the F40. But anyway, here's the F50. Um, so this is a 99 mainline debut. It was last seen in 2013 Speed Machines. Um, this one that you see right here is actually from 2000, so it was released in 2000. So this had a bunch of more releases. It had a lot of releases, actually. So here it is in a basic yellow. You got your Ferrari logo right there. No detail on the back. You got a Hot Wheels logo there, side uh, Ferrari logo. And your classic, whatever, metal body. This one actually has, is this a metal base? Yeah, that's actually a metal base. So this one actually has a metal base. So that's kind of interesting. I guess it debuted in 1999. Maybe that's why it's got a metal base. Pre-2000 Hot Wheels. So, pretty heavy little casting, for sure. Um, so there is that. So this one's got a metal base. And actually, now that I'm looking at this one, this is from the 2007 main line. Notice right away, yeah, this one lost the metal base. And as you can see, it is a retool because there is no, there's two rivets in this one. There's only one rivet in this one. So this one, obviously, the base must be part of this back. Like, oh, it's right here. It's held in to the back by that. Um, and this one, this back little piece right here is actually part of the interior. But it does look better in red. I will give it that. So, there you go. This one's got the Ferrari logo on the front, Ferrari logo on the sides, which is definitely, now that I'm looking at all of these cars that have been cracking, um, <clears throat> it's got to definitely be part of the licensing agreement as to why uh, the Tampos are typically basic on these and only have a Ferrari logo on the front, Ferrari logo on the side, uh, which, of course, limits them from putting rear detail on the car, which is unfortunate. So, there's that. 2007 mainline. <clears throat> Not sure when it was last seen, but um, anyway, no more Ferrari license, no more Ferrari F50. Alright, so there is that. And then lastly, our 10th car is this 360 Modena, which is a 1999 mainline debut. And it's what you are looking at right now. So it's 99, and I think this one does have a metal base. Nope, plastic base. Where is that plastic? Man, no, that's metal. 
that is actually metal. It looks plastic because it's like a flat color and it's got a little bit of texture to it, but that is, God, that's hard to tell, but it's cold. It's definitely cold, so I, I, I'm pretty sure it's metal. It's either metal or, or it's like super hard plastic. But anyway, so it's 1999 Mainline Debut. It's had a bunch of releases. Notably, it was also in the Ferrari Racer series. Uh, again, very, very basic tampos. You got a Ferrari logo on the front, and I think oh, a Hot Wheels logo on the back. And that is it. That's all she wrote for this one. Uh, and a lot of these older cars, man, the paint that was on the rivet starts to chip off. Which is okay, but it looks a little mess. Alright, so there it is. So there's your Ferraris. A quick little recap. We got the Modena. We looked at some F50s. So there's those two. There's these two. That was your last five cars. We got some 308s. Corgi casting. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. These are my two favorites, I think, of this episode. And then the 599XX is pretty sweet. And then this one's kind of a basic whatever. So that's it for this episode. So thank you for tuning in to another 10 Car Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.